This is my absolutely favorite story from the weekend. Remember the whistleblower who was going to blow the lid off about the Biden crime family's fraud and all these things that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden have done. James Comer was talking about it. We saw clips of Chuck Grassley saying this is a, this is explosive. We're going to bring in the whistleblower. It's all going to happen. The whistleblower is now missing. The whistleblower is now missing. And I know what you're saying. They probably just don't want anything to do with this, right? They are using ominous language to say we, we do, we've got to figure that out. They, the whistleblower has gone missing. Hmm, that's really, really weird. Newsweek has a report. Republican admits key quote informant against Joe Biden now missing. Now, even the term whistleblower was a stretch to begin with because whistleblowers suggest they're blowing the whistle about some kind of crime. So far, we've not seen any evidence of that. Neither of Republicans who say, oh, the evidence is coming. We're going to get the evidence. Now, the term that's being used is an informant. But even that is being put within quotes because it's not even really clear that they are that uh, representative James Comer, a Kentucky Republican, admitted Sunday that Republicans, quote, lost track of a key witness in an investigation about the Biden family's involvement in an alleged bribery scheme. This is just amazing um, there. What we what we have is a memo which includes redacted images of transactions involving bank accounts purportedly belonging to members of the crime of the Biden family, which they believe are evidence of crimes. Nothing's actually been proven. You have to understand. So we go to Maria Bartiromo's program on Fox News yesterday and Maria Bartiromo tries to do this big dramatic. Wait a second. Are you telling me? And it's just all so transparently pathetic. Take a look at this. Hold on a second, Congressman. Did you just say? Did you just say on live television? Did you just say that the whistleblower or the informant is now missing? <laughs> well, we we're hopeful that we can find the informant. Now, remember, these informants are, are kind of in the, the spy business. <laughs> is that did you just say, Congressman, you know, they came to me and they said, sir, the Biden crime witness is missing. Big, strong guys, tears in their eyes. I said, how could that be? It was because of Obama, who has been treated, has treated me very, very unfairly because the cupboards were bare. When I took over for him, I was getting calls day and night saying, sir, how do you do it? How are you doing it? And we're going to be redoing Mount Rushmore very strongly because the informant proves everything about the Biden crime family. Oh, we can't find him. OK, well, I'm sure that that's something that the Biden crime family orchestrated, right? It's the Hunter Biden body count or whatever it is. The next thing is going to be the way that this conversation has gone. If you look at it from the beginning is so pathetic that it's actually shocking. Maria Bartiromo is even playing along like even for her is it's it's a bit much because the way the conversation has been was Comer and Grassley and others came forward and said, we have a whistleblower who has all sorts of incredible evidence against Joe Biden that crimes were committed. Oh, OK. Have you seen the evidence? Well, no, no, no. But I'm sure that he has it and we're going to bring him in very soon. Oh, OK. When is he coming in? Well, actually, he's gone missing now. Oh, hmm, that's that's really kind of strange. And Maria Bartiromo falls for the entire thing. Here she is wrapping it up on Fox News, and it really seems as though she will believe anything Republicans tell her. Just stunning. A stunning breaking news story this morning <laughs> uh, that some of these people now may be missing. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we're certainly going to be covering and reporting your findings. Thank you. <laughs> The, which findings, the findings that there is no more whistleblower because the whistleblower is missing or the findings that you are going to get only if and when you find the whistleblower, if you get them to come in, if they have any evidence, if any of the evidence checks out and if any of the evidence that checks out actually points to any crime, even a single crime, which they've been looking into for years and still haven't found a shred of evidence about. They love to say, you know, the left always goes after Trump for all of this supposed stuff. But now we've got evidence and they don't want to talk about it. First of all, I've covered the story from the beginning. Secondly, there isn't actually any evidence. 
claiming that someone you can't find has evidence, right? That is not the same as having evidence. And the entire thing reminds me of when Tucker remember Tucker Carlson, he went on TV when he still had a show on Fox News and he said, we got a copy of the hard drive. We got a copy of the laptop from hell, the Hunter Biden laptop from hell. We got the copy on a USB drive and we sent it to ourselves across the country and it got lost in the mail. Really? You didn't make like a cloud backup. You didn't keep a USB drive with you. You didn't think to duplicate it. You know, it just it's been lost. We, we finally got Hunter's hard drive, but it simply was lost in the mail. It's getting harder to believe that these are serious people. And of course, James Comer hasn't been a serious person for a very long time. So listen, as I've said before, I don't care about Hunter Biden in terms of protecting him or politically motivated reasons to pretend he did nothing wrong. Just find me evidence of crimes and then I will say prosecute Hunter Biden. But more importantly, find me a link to Joe Biden before I'm going to think that there's actually political relevance. They have nothing. Do not allow yourself to be misled. They have nothing as of right now. OK, real quick. Two weeks from today, Monday, Memorial Day, we are doing a one day membership blowout special to officially start the 2024 campaign. The debates are going to start. It's going to be insane. OK, so Monday, Memorial Day, that's the uh, 29th, I believe. Is that right? I don't even know what I don't even know what year it is. Uh, no, yes. Monday, uh, May 29th, one day membership special biggest discount of the year. If you've been thinking of supporting the work that we do, I would love for get for you to get on my uh, newsletter mailing list. You go to davidpackman.com. You just type in your email address. Very easy to do. And uh, Monday Memorial Day in the morning, you'll get an email and it'll be an email crying that will tell you how to take advantage of this great membership discount. I'll say more about it between now and then. If you or one of your parents is starting to lose your hearing, you're not alone. About 48 million Americans have hearing loss and only one in five people who would benefit from using a hearing aid are actually using one. Our sponsors, MD Hearing, create FDA registered rechargeable hearing aids that cost a fraction of what you typically pay. For example, MD Hearing's new Neo model costs less than 10 percent of what those marked up hearing aids are being sold for at most hearing clinics. And the Neo is MD Hearing's smallest hearing aid ever. No one will even know that it's there. I have a close family friend who uses MD Hearing and loves it. She said it performs better than any hearing aid that she's used, and it's far less noticeable. MD Hearing even offers a 45 day risk free trial with a 100% money back guarantee. So you can buy with confidence, and they have a special deal for my audience. When you buy a pair of hearing aids, you'll get them for just one forty nine ninety nine each. Plus, they'll include a free extra charging case. Go to MDHearing.com and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.